the truth. So much made, Bruce, of, you know, will Ivanka Trump say hello to a North Korean official? Did Mike Pence look at the sister? Maybe he made eye contact. Maybe they didn't. Does it matter? Well, the, the White House said that they, uh, Pence was going to have a meeting with the North Korean delegation, even someone, Kim's sister, who was sanctioned for human rights violations, and then North Korea at the last minute turned it down. So the U.S. once again had tried dialogue with the North, and the North turned it down. So what do you make of this? North Korea seems to love talking to South Korea. They invited the South Korean president for this big summit in Pyongyang, and at the same time turning their backs on the Americans. Right. Well, over the years, they've they've really sort of picked one country at a time, whether it's Japan, the United States, or South Korea, and had uh, tried to have a charm offensive or dialogue with them. Uh, and they try to pick the low-hanging fruit of benefits, and then when it doesn't pan out, then they uh, will regroup and then often go for another country. So they're successful in the short term at playing everybody off each other. Right. They, they have been. But then over time, when it comes for them to deliver, whether it's in the six-party talks or the agreed framework or other negotiations, then they're always hesitant to follow through. Yeah, long, long on promises, short on deliverables. Uh, the president saying yesterday, we imposed today the heaviest sanctions ever imposed on a country before and then followed it up with this. We'll have to see. If the sanctions don't work, we'll have to go phase two. And phase two may be a very rough thing may be very, very unfortunate for the world. Are these really, though, the toughest sanctions ever? Is there more wiggle room the White House has? Right. The, the, the list was very extensive. The, the, simply, the, it was the longest list of, of entities sanctioned at once on North Korea. So it's a, a welcome step. It's another step in the international pressure on North Korea. Yet the, the U.S. is still pulling its punches, particularly against Chinese banks and businesses that are aiding the North Korean missile and nuclear programs. Why, why do you think they're pulling their punches? We, we hear from the administration that we're willing to do anything to stop North Korea. We're being so tough, yet sending a different message. Uh, it, it's puzzling. Uh, you know, f it's not maximum pressure if you're holding back on the, the Chinese facilitators, particularly the banks. Uh, Congress sent over a list of tw 12 Chinese banks to the White House saying that they thought there was evidence there to either identify them as a money laundering concern or impose fines, uh, and there was uh, no action yet. The, the, the North Koreans and the Chinese both know about these banks. Conceivably, the Russians know about them as well. What do they make of the United States not applying maximum pressure. It, it, it's a puzzle, really. Is, is you know, you, you should. It's got to show weakness, though, doesn't it? Right. It, it shows that we're not doing maximum pressure. Where th these are uh, entities that are violating U.S. laws, which are designed hmm. to protect the U.S. financial system. Hmm. Real, real quickly, we're hearing now about this stop and search operation of North right. Korean ships uh, on the high seas that are potentially violating sanctions. You start talking about that. If they don't stop to be searched, then either they run the blockade or you've got a war on your hands. Right. Well, U.S. officials have said that they've had great compliance with other countries who, you know, will accept a, an inspection. But we don't have authority because China blocks uh, the authority that we would get through a, a U.N. resolution. So we don't have authority to do a search and seizure against the will of the of the ship or the country that owns it. So, uh, you know, that's why we do need some additional uh, responsibilities or authorities well, of the U.N. Conceivably, the authority could just come from the president of the United States. If he orders the United States Navy to stop a North Korean ship on the high seas, not much else that needs to be said, right? Right. Well, then you have, is that piracy on the high seas uh, in a legal sense? You've had in the past where uh, you had really a slow boat chase with a U.S. warship following a North Korean freighter for hundreds or thousands of miles until it turned around back to North Korea. Hmm. All right. Well, we, we will wait and watch. If there's another slow boat chase, we'll have you on to talk about it. Thanks, <laughs> Thank Bruce. Thanks. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account.